Exercising your lips can really transform your health. I'm going to tell you briefly about the lip trainer, and I would like to keep it simple by describing it as a rehabilitation training tool for the treatment of muscles of the mouth and face, but it's more than that. Inserted into the mouth, it trains the lips. The process triggers a beneficial knock-on effect by activating the muscles of what we might call facial expression. This would in turn improve many apparently unrelated conditions. The lip trainer is made by combining the elastic properties of both plastic and rubber. The resilience of the material applies pressure directly to the facial muscles, thereby strengthening them. It was developed by a Japanese dentist and registered for use as a medical device within the uh, Ministry of Health in Japan. The daily use of the lip trainer appears to have a curative influence. Whilst the improvements may be gradual, they can also be visible because they're linked with improved motor movements as well as cognitive functions such as reasoned thinking, playing chess, explaining Shakespeare's plays. So activating the muscles of facial expression in turn improves blood flow specifically increasing vascular flow to the right frontal lobe of the brain. With this increased blood flow is carried life-sustaining oxygen. When the facial muscles are activated and blood flows to the brain, turning on the synapses, this stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, that part of the autonomic nervous system that controls rest and digestion. The name Patakara was developed from Papa Tata Kakarara, sounds that speech therapists use to help patients pronounce key words in speech training, especially after a, a stroke. So the lip trainer was originally developed for stroke patients. And here's an example of the changes in speech patterns. They may appear minimal, but a little effort can go a long way. What does the lip trainer do? Well, the developer claims that by exercising and strengthening the lips, the lip trainer can increase cerebral blood flow. We're talking about conditions such as uh, Down syndrome, behavioral issues, attacks of epilepsy, mental alertness, dementia, brain damage. Uh, it can activate, activate facial expressions, such as uh, helping with Bell's palsy, drooling, bleeding from the gums while brushing, bad breath, mouth ulcers, teeth grinding, a sagging face, double chin, stiff neck, and issues or disorders uh, with the temporomandibular joint, such as the alignment of teeth. It can coordinate the movement of the tongue and the throat, helping with speech and articulation disorders, swallowing issues, snoring, breathing problems, hypertension, and irregular heartbeat and it can boost the parasympathetic nervous system for conditions as simple as common colds, unidentified coughs, coughs, shallow sleeping patterns, visits to the toilet at night, bedwetting, bladder issues, asthma attacks, menopause, diabetes, and even Sjogren's syndrome, an immune system disorder. Now, nose breathing, good, versus mouth breathing, not so good. The act of breathing through the nose instead of the mouth raises the position of the tongue, you can see that here, allowing more oxygen into the brain and the body. The data provided by Japanese researchers shows that changing from mouth breathing to nose breathing has numerous positive effects on the oxygenation of the brain and it positively alters the bacterial count in the mouth. So how does the trip la uh, lip trainer work? Inserted in your mouth to fit under your lips yet in front of your teeth, you then exert pressure on the lips to keep them together, thus exercising the facial muscles. This encourages breathing through the nose uh, rather than the mouth. Um, the result is that saliva is prevented from evaporating and problems such as mouth ulcers and bad breath are kept at bay or eliminated altogether. The recommended use is to insert the lip trainer and close the lips together for at least three minutes, 
do this four times a day. And with the lip trainer in place, if your lips can't close the device completely for three minutes continuously, there are benefits, but the effectiveness won't be 100%. The, the lip trainer must be fully closed in order to align your facial muscles around its shape. Breathing is about exhaling and inhaling, expiration and inspiration. In the preface of his book, The Tao of Natural Breathing, Dennis Lewis writes, and I quote, There is absolutely no doubt that superficial breathing ensures a superficial experience of ourselves. Second, that if we were able to breathe more naturally for even a small percentage of the more than 15,000 breaths we take during each waking day, we would be taking a huge step, not only preventing many of the physical and physiological problems that have become endemic to modern life, but also towards supporting our own inner growth, the growth of awareness of who and what we really are, of our own essential being. The lip trainer has benefited the following conditions. Let's take some examples. Gum disease. A, a recent report from Singapore, the government shows that 85% of Singaporeans have gum disease because the incidence of breastfeeding is low. Feeding from the breast is, is where the orbicular muscle of the mouth develops. This is not the case with bottle feeding, as considerably less sucking is required here. When children who were not breastfed become adults, their weak orbicular muscle will very likely cause them to sleep, and of course breathe, with an open mouth. With dementia, speech therapists at the Okuno Hospital in Tokyo confirmed that dementia can be improved with the lip trainer. Remember that blood flow to the frontal lobe of the brain increases when lip exercises are carried out with the lip trainer. The brain works as an energy source. It's normally found that the function of the brain decreases in those with dementia because blood flow to the brain has decreased. Those with Down syndrome were born without developed facial expression muscles and they have a weak lip closure. Consequently, their faces have a similarity, an open mouth, a chubby face with conditions such as sleep apnea, maybe a difficulty in swallowing, speech disorder, and even hearing difficulties. When Down syndrome sufferers start to exercise their lips to strengthen their orbicular muscle, there will be a marked recovery of those symptoms. Those annoying trips to the toilet in the middle of the night will decrease within a few weeks and, and then can hopefully stop altogether if you use the lip trainer correctly, four times a day for at least three minutes each time. These nocturnal disturbances are caused by an imbalance in the autonomic nervous system that creates shallow sleeping patterns. The increased cerebral blood flow brought about by lip training will stimulate a deeper sleep and help release antidiuretic hormones from the pituitary gland, reducing or eliminating altogether any need to visit the toilet. Many snorers have swollen soft tissue around the pharynx, brought about by years of mouth breathing. To stop snoring, it may take anything from days to many months of nose breathing and lip training to reduce this swelling. The snoring sound is caused by the speed of exhaled and inhaled air passing through the narrow passage around the swollen pharynx or at the root of the tongue where the passing air causes it, it to vibrate. With mouth breathing, saliva in your mouth quickly evaporates. Mouth breathing also allows bacteria to enter with each air intake. While bad breath is caused by bacteria in the throat, as well as trap food between the teeth, we now know that gum disease and furry tongue do not cause halitosis or dog breath, as we were once told. So if you could sleep with your mouth closed, the bacteria that causes bad breath will be absorbed by saliva each night. Any bad breath could be gone in as little as two weeks. Here is some feedback from users. Interesting that most first-time users buy the lip trainer as a result of a personal recommendation from a friend. 
So if you'd like to know a little more or try one for yourself or for somebody you think will benefit, click on the link below.